Yo, what's going on Elite Guard Training? My name is Chris Barnard with Overtime Athletes, a strength and conditioning coach down here in St. Petersburg, Florida, where I specialize with basketball, football, baseball players, really in the jumping and speed realm. Um, so for today's video, what I wanna share with you guys is how to cure knee pain. Now, I have a lot of videos. There's a lot of videos online. Hell, you could do a quick Google search and just kind of start to self-diagnose. If it's something more than just a little bit of inflammation or a nagging injury in the knee, Obviously, I believe that you need to get this checked out. I'm not a physical therapist, I'm not a doctor. So usually what I typically do when I have an athlete who comes in with a nagging knee pain, I can quickly start to see how they move and see what it is. And usually what it is is an imbalance. A lot of you guys uh, who play basketball that get knee pain is because of the sheer force when you're jumping off that one foot, right? You're driving all that force towards that knee in a horizontal fashion boom, and then you're transferring that to vertical. So a lot of that knee is taking a lot of that brunt of that pain. The way that I like to fix it is basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you three things. I'm gonna make this more of a solution-based video, as I said, as opposed to educational as far as trying to teach you all, because there's many different problems you can have with the knee, including the different ligaments that you have, the ACL, the MCL, stuff like that. So instead of going on to that, I'm just gonna provide you a quick solution. So. First and foremost, assuming that you have some kind of jumper knee or some kind of pain, what you need to start off with is passively elongating um, the muscles surrounding the actual knee. So usually it stems from the hip. It can stem from the ankle and taking that brunt force to the knee, but usually it stems from the hip. So what we wanna do is the upper half of the, of the uh, leg, we actually wanna use a foam roller and begin by putting it on the actual IT band, which is just on your side of your knee and go all the way down to the knee, roll back, back and forth. And you're just trying to release some of those muscles, relax, essentially passively elongating just means we're stretching it kind of or, pull, or allowing that muscle to, uh, to stretch without actually tugging on it, right? So that's what this is. Think of it, think of dough ironing out with a, a dough pin, right? Like a pizza dough. Um, you really want to get your quadriceps, the top of your muscles here, right above the knee, especially if you're experiencing the pain, which jumper's knee is just patellar tendonitis right across the knee here. Um, so you really want to make sure you hit this area and then hit the adductors, which are going to be the muscles inside your leg right here. And you're just going to take the foam roller, put it here, and then roll out, same thing, just like that. Now the next step after you're pretty much warmed up is we want to address what the, some of the imbalance could potentially be. And that's usually from weak glutes, right? So my glutes aren't turning on or they're not activated. So an easy step for you to start getting them to activate is actually start to isolate and activate them, right? Start to turn them on. So the first one that you could do is just gonna be a simple, put a band around your feet and just coming out, right? Maybe 10 reps here. 10 reps right behind, keeping everything stiff, and you wanna pinpoint, have that mind-muscle connection where you're essentially trying to squeeze this, turning it on. Another good one I like that's simple for you guys is bring it up above the knee, perform a monster walk. Have your knees wide, I like to say, get your knees outside your shoulder, keep it wide the whole time as you step down, do the same thing in reverse for 10 yards. Then turn sideways, keep the knees wide, my glutes are engaged the whole time, I'm coming down and back. Very simple like that. Third solution, and remember you're doing all three of these, is going to be to essentially start to address the inflammation as it is. So for us to get stronger, um, by turning on the glute indirectly, by stretching out the, this to relieve the inflammation, right? By, by, by uh, performing the foam roller, this is gonna strengthen across the knee. And what we call this is band TKEs, terminal knee extensions. And essentially what we're trying to do, it's a really good rehab exercise or, re, or prehab. For people who've torn the ACL, it starts to relieve across the knee, but really what we're trying to do is strengthen those across the kneecap. So you're just gonna stay back, make sure the band's taut. From here, I'm gonna go on a toe. The band is tight. From this stent, all I wanna do is straighten it out by driving the back of my knee back and driving my heel to the ground, locking out across the knee. Getting that good contraction across the knee here, boom, and I'll perform a series of 10. So to run down real quick, if you're experiencing it, simple solution for you to add into your training. Foam roll, IT band, quad, adductors, 
turn on the glutes, do a series of monster walks or band hip activation, perform a series of two sets of 10, of 10 band TKEs to really strengthen and address that actual muscles and ligaments across the knee. Try that out, hope it helps you guys out. Appreciate you guys having me on, I'll see you next time.